Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. What a wonderful So today's video is going to be an update to my project wax for the month of July. I'm going to show you guys what I finished off, which is right over here, and then some progress and introduce a few new candles. So if you're interested in seeing what I've been burning, then just keep watching. So I'm going to start off with the empties and I'm not going to go too in depth about them because I did talk about them in my empties video, but here they are. First, an unexpected one. If you listened to last month's um, Project Wax, I wasn't really focusing on this one, but it ended up being the one that I burned the most. And in the last month, we went from here all the way to finishing off this candle. Loved it. Mahogany Teakwood is honestly just a favorite of all time. So that one was great. Also finished off another fan favorite, Champagne Toast, one of my absolute um, all-time OG faves <laughs> but i went from here to finishing it up i didn't really have a lot of progress to make so this one was an easy finish and that's champagne toast i'm sorry if you hear kai snoring in the background he is currently laying on the ground because we went on a walk i'm still like kind of hot from our walk outside and it's only 11 um and it said it was 86 outside but it was not it definitely felt like 95 um but it's supposed to be 100 degrees at 4 p.m so Needless to say, I have to take them out before lunch. But anyways, we have here Berry Trifle, which is another one that I finished. I blazed through this one. It was one of my absolute favorites that I've ever tried from Homeworks. Went from about the middle of the jar all the way to using it. So, so good. And I do have a review on my channel if you're interested. So and now let's get into the progress. This pile right here will be ones that I'm working on in the next month. So we have coconut cake right here from Homeworks, and I did actually get a ton of progress on this one. Not one of my favorites, just because it's not the strongest burn I've ever smelt. And it's honestly not very coconutty. It's kind of just like a basic gourmand. Um, but yeah, last month we were up here and now we're all the way down here. So I'm pretty much almost done. Probably another month or so and I'll be totally finished with this one. So that is um, coconut cake from Homeworks. Next, I have pink petal tea cake, which I've just been burning in my... Um, bedroom it's a really nice like girly get ready scent so i've been enjoying it for that purpose and you can see my progress from here to here it has gotten a little bit murky you can see some discoloration in the wax but um i haven't noticed that it made any difference on the scent and yeah that's pink petal tea cake i'm just gonna keep working on it not too hard but still working on it the next one i've been getting some good progress on is tiki beach i pulled this one out to burn in my living room after i finished champagne toast and it's been really nice for the summertime. Tiki Beach is warm vanilla musk, orchids, and toasted coconut. I thought I'd read the notes on this because I feel like this is an underrated summer scent. I actually really like it. It kind of smells like you're at a resort. I think it's the orchids and the coconut, but it's like slightly fruity vanilla. It smells really great. I can't describe it other than like you're staying at a beachside resort, but that's what it smells like. It smells really good. And here's my progress lines. Um, I think I put it in last month unused and now we're about, we're almost halfway. So did some really good progress on this one and I'm really enjoying it. The next one is buttery popcorn, which I don't actually have a ton of progress on. You can see from here to here, I think I burned it once. I just wasn't in the mood and I didn't play as much video games last month as I did the month before. So yeah, I just didn't really reach for this one that much. It's also been crazy hot here. so. Popcorn is not like my favorite scent to burn while it's hot. Um, so I'm just gonna keep it in, see how we do. I feel like this is gonna be really great in the fall time though, when it's cozy or, oh wait, this one's gonna be so good for game day, for football game day. Sorry, if you guys don't know, I went to LSU and LSU football is like, it's the vibe for fall. And I feel like this is gonna be a really good one to burn during LSU football games. So that's buttery popcorn. I don't actually have any progress on red, white, and blue cake, but this one was supposed to go in to use after I finished Berry Trifle. And I wanna see if they're like a similar scent. This is unused, but red, white, and blue cake is red raspberries, blue, ripe blueberries, and whipped vanilla cream with soft white cake. So just like a berry cake. It smells really good. Um, I guess I'll try and start using it next month um, as like my gourmand cakey scent besides coconut cake. <laughs> Um, but yeah, that's this one. And this next one is Unicorn Sprinkles, which I did burn a few times, but I actually can't see where it's marked because the lid won't come off. So I need your help, guys, if this, this has ever happened to you. But I think what I did was I 
usually put the lid on my candles to extinguish them and I must have suction cupped it in here and now it's vacuum sealed closed. So I can't get the lid off no matter what I do. I can kind of twist it, but it won't come off. And it hurts if I like use my nails or something to try and get it off. So if you guys have ever had this happen where your candle gets vacuums, the lid gets vacuum sealed, let me know what you've done to fix it. Or if it's not fixable, then that sucks. Um, I'm thinking I have a candle crock. I could sit this in there and maybe the heat will like make it come off or I could even run it under hot water in the sink. Just like, you know, run the lid over hot water and see if that kind of gets rid of the vacuum seal. But yeah, I vacuum sealed the lid for unicorn sprinkles, which is really sad because I've been actually enjoying this one. So please let me know if you have any suggestions on how to get this vacuum sealed lid off. Um, but that's unicorn sprinkles. I probably burned it like four or five times and I was really enjoying it. So I am gonna put in another like fruity scent just until I figure out what to do with this one. And it's replacement scent is gonna be sugared lemonade and blueberry sugar. This one is from SAS during the blends collection. I think this is like the second round of blends in the winter, but this is a really nice lemonade fruity scent. It is sweet blueberries, fresh lemon juice, and sugar crystals. It really does smell just like fresh squeezed lemonade. So I'm excited to try this one out. I hope um, it'll kind of satisfy my need for like some fruity summery scent. It smells great and yeah, it is unused. I love this beautiful purple wax. So excited to try this one out. And then I'm introducing also Mahogany Coconut. This one is one of my favorites for summertime. This is just a really nice, like amazing escalated home scent. I don't know how else to describe it, but I have burned it a few times, just like whenever I felt like it. It's creamy coconut mahogany woods and English lavender. This is like what I would want my house to smell like if I had guests over. And we might be having guests over sometime soon this month. So I wanted to go ahead and pull this one out. Also, I feel like July is gonna be the last month that I'm gonna be like full gung-ho summer scents because August, pretty much after my birthday, which is August 2nd, I go straight for the fall scents. So I'm gonna put mahogany coconut in to hopefully get some progress on for the summer. Um, and I'm totally fine if I don't finish it up. Like I said, this is a great year round, like beautiful home scent. So I just wanna get some progress on it. We are right here on the jar and I love this beautiful label. This one came out during, uh, I believe candle day of 2022, or maybe it was for SAS. I can't, I think it was candle day. Um, but yeah, beautiful jar, and I just wanna get some progress on it before summer ends. And the last one that I'm putting in is Ginger Lime Twist. Now this one, I am actually really excited to burn now that it is 100 and more degrees outside because this is a really nice fresh and fruity kind of scent. It is fresh lime zest, fizzy ginger beer, and crushed mint leaves. It is so refreshing. I'm really excited to uh, burn this one. Mmm. Like, I think I'm gonna light this up today and see how I like it. I hope it's strong. I have no idea what it's going to smell like burning, but I hope it smells like this. It really does just smell like a um, Moscow Mule. And that's one of my favorite drinks for the summertime is a Mule. I love like the just super refreshing fizzy soda aspect to it, but also like the mint leaves in there is so good. So that is Ginger Lime Twist. I'm loving that they're doing like cocktail collections now. I feel like it's so fun. And like something they haven't branched into yet is cocktails. Um, so I love that they're coming out with some more for fall and stuff. I think that's a really cool way to kind of stray away from their traditional gourmands, which is what I feel like Bath & Body Works is doing this year. We barely got any gourmand scents for spring and summer. So I feel like they're kind of replacing gourmands with other things and they're like testing it out to see how those things do, which I think one of those things is like the drink collections. Um, I think they're fun, but I still would love gourmand scents because you guys know I love gourmands. So I'm like kind of, I don't know how I feel about that, but let me know down below how you guys feel about um, Bath & Body Works not doing as many gourmand scents this year. Kind of sucks, but that's okay. Okay, so that is it for my update to my candle project pan. Like I said, I finished off three and now I have nine candles going in my project. Um, my typical project is usually 10 candles, but honestly, I feel like as long as I'm picking out candles that I know that I'll use, I feel like nine is totally enough, um, especially now that I go through like three to five a month. So I feel like I've hit my stride with candle burning and stuff and I'm feeling pretty confident about it. So 
Anyways, that is everything for today's video. Let me know down below what scent are you burning for the month of July, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.